I guess I just want to say uncomfortable topic alert because it kind of is, but it's really important. So you want to pay attention here. Do you have a will? Do you have an advanced directive? Do you even know what that is? Because I'm going, huh? Well, these are tough questions and they're scary to think about. In fact, it is so overwhelming to think about that most of us are just completely putting off having a will, having an advanced directive, not doing anything until it's too late. So joining us now is Chanel Reynolds, founder of a company called Get Your Stuff Together. When you go to gyst.com, you'll see that the stuff is a little bit different, but we're going to say stuff for the topic of this uh, of this interview today. Thank you so much for being Thank with you. us. My pleasure. Um, so you are the co-founder of the gyst.com. Um, I was just reading a little bit about your background, um, and they mentioned that you have a kick in, a, in the pan message yeah. that also hits really close to home for you. Can you talk about that? Yeah, thank you for asking. So this, um, I kind of found myself here talking about wills by accident, mm -hmm. literally. A number of, of years ago, my husband was in an accident. And when we were at the hospital and we didn't know which way it was going to go, I realized that there were so many things that I had not finished or not started and things I'd never thought about. And our wills and our living wills were done, but they were sitting in my inbox, unsigned, where they had been for a number of months. And so I realized that even for a project manager, a kind of get stuff done gal, there, was, there were a lot of things that I didn't know about or just didn't do. And it made a hard time a lot harder. Yeah, I'm yeah. so sorry Thank that you. you went through that. Thank you. Um, your situation, though, is probably similar to a lot of people's situations. We just don't want to talk about these things. It's true, and, and it's, it's hard to start talking about it, but I find once you do, we've all been thinking and worrying about it for so long. It's such a big relief to say, hey, what's most important to you? So if, yeah. I, if you need me to get your back in a bad situation, yeah. tell me what you want me to do so I can do it. So I don't have to guess. I can just kind of follow your directions. So this week is actually, we're talking about this because this week is actually called National Healthcare Decisions Day, but instead of a day, it's a whole week this year. Um, what exactly does this mean and how do we all participate? Yeah, there are a ton of ways to participate. On the National Healthcare Decisions Day website, there are a lot of ideas about how you can get involved in the community, how you can talk to friends and family. And I think the best first thing to start doing is just to start talking about it. Mm -hmm. And if that seems scary, then sometimes talking about talking about it is a good place to start yeah. with your spouse or with your adult children or with your parents often is a good place to, um, to just get the conversation going. And I've found that it's hard to ask somebody else, hey, do you have your stuff together? It might be easier to start with, hey, I've started to get my stuff together and here it is, here's a copy of it. What would you like to share your information with me? So when we start talking about getting our stuff together, where do we start? There's a lot of documents, but what would you say are the most important ones to think about right now? Yeah, that's a great question. And I find that people are very overwhelmed and often they don't know the difference, as I didn't, between a will and a living will, which is the same thing as a advanced care directive. Uh, there's three basic documents, which are a great place to start. There's your will, which talks about who gets your stuff. There's your living will, which is who can advocate for you and your end of life wishes and what quality of life means to you. And a power of attorney document, which is um, something where you can specify different people are in charge of a health care decision, should it just be not life threatening, or who takes care of your finances, oh, right. who has guardianship of your children, um, even down to your digital details like password and account information for social media. So the site, if people want more information, is gyst.com. Correct, just .com. And that's, um, we have a lot of great information about um, different documents. There are links to different options. There are free forms, even state-by-state -state forms. And tips and advice to try to keep it simple. Mm -hmm. The goal is to get it done. And to get it done, you have to get started. Exactly. Get that weight off your yeah. shoulders. Get yeah. it done. Chanel, thank you so much. My it's a pleasure. tough topic, but yeah. it's important to talk about. Um, as we mentioned here, you can get more information on how you can prepare. GYST.com. Chanel Reynolds, co-founder of GIST.com. Yes. Thank you so much for thank being you. with us. Appreciate it.